let's say you want to adjust a student's learning path or where they are, uh, the kind of lessons that they're getting. So this is your dashboard page, of course, once you've logged in. And you want to adjust their placement in the learning path, assess and teach, instruction, personalized instruction. I'm choosing math. And here you have the adjust instruction section right in the middle. Now you can uh, turn, turn domains on and off and go right to that and click if you want to just have everybody practice number and operations just let me can turn off the other domains if you want and you can do that for whatever students or your entire class if however you want to do that but we're looking at adjusting lesson placement here and click on this now you're adjusting the individual lesson path and you're going to have to do this you click a student and you're going to click a domain and update the lesson path and you have to do this differently for each domain because each student has their own learning path and each student is going to have different places for different domains and you can have you can be early on grade level or mid grade level for different domains or you can be in different grade levels for different domains for that matter so it really has to be done by student by domain there's just no other way around it that's what you have to do to have individualized instruction so grade I just want to look at my third grade students, say, and then I'm going to click on a few of them. Or you can only, you actually, you can only do one at a time. You can search for the student's name here. And I'm going to change Brian's lesson path. Now I'm going to choose, well, I can only choose one of these domains. So you can, you can only adjust one domain at a time. So I'm going to change Brian's number and operations learning path. So up here it tells you the domain's on, so it hasn't been shut off, but either by iReady or by the teacher. And when you look at the diagnostic placement, you'll see where that mark is when I scroll down. Now it starts because the diagnostic placement could be doesn't have to be in the student's grade level. It can be prior to the student's grade level or ahead. It, you have to look at all of them and just scroll through it all. So the adjusted placement is it hasn't been set, but the diagnostic placement is grade three. So I can just look at this grade column here and just skip down to see where the student is. And late two, here we go. And I see that's where the diagnostic placed the student. And you can see Brian's been passing everything. He's doing great. So let's say we want to bump him up and move his lesson pass path up to division. And now he's going to skip these lessons here in my path. Because those ones he's already taken and passed. Now you can go back. You can also adjust students backwards if they need. You want to assign foundation for some to fill in some learning gaps. But keep in mind that if you set them back, and eventually they they will keep completing lessons, and they'll come back up to the lessons they've already taken, and it'll reassign them lessons that maybe that they have already passed. So you have to keep an eye on that if you move them back. So we're okay, divide whole numbers. And then here's just the confirmation. And I can just save that adjustment right here. And that's adjusting instructions.